So now looking at the ear, here we've got the external ear. And what we're going with, I know all these structures here have different names, but what we're going with is if anything around here at all is pit, it's just auricle. The earlobe, commonly called the earlobe, is the lobule. This part here is the, the, the tragus. And of course we have the external acoustic meatus is the opening we're going to look at there. So let's have a look at that on a on a different model, which is much larger. So we can see here we have an enlarged ear. And again, we can see some of those external structures that we were just looking at. Uh, here we've got the external acoustic meatus. And of course that ends here at the tympanic membrane, okay, commonly the eardrum, so that white structure there. And of course attached to that, sitting on the internal surface of it, we have the malleus. So let's come in and have a closer look there. And let's just optimistically replace the structures that have fallen off. Um, what we've got though behind the tympanic membrane, so on the inside of it as well, is the tympanic cavity. So here's the membrane here. In the middle ear here, there's a big, air, hopefully air-filled cavity. That's the tympanic cavity there. And notice that it does have a fairly uh, superior and posterior excursion there from where the uh, actual membrane is. So that's all tympanic cavity in there. Um, but here we can fairly clearly see the tympanic membrane with the malleus sitting right on it, having this larger part up here more superiorly. So that's all malleus. And then that is, of course, attached or articulates with the incus, which we can see running down here to be attached to the stapes, which is this stirrup-shaped one just here. So we've got malleus, incus, stapes. Now the stapes attaches to the cochlea. We can see the cochlea here, this shell-like structure here. But the stapes attaches to that. We can see the cochlea running down this way. If we tilt it up, you can see that the stapes is joining in there. Stapes attaches at the oval window. We can't actually see the oval window because the stapes is completely covering it. But it's, it's where the stapes attaches right in here. So nigh on impossible for me to actually pin, but you can see the stapes attaching to it there. Now, on the inferior aspect then of the cochlea, we also have though the round window, and you can fairly clearly see that one there. So the round window just here, not too far from where the stapes is attaching in at the oval window. So, cochlea here, and then we have three semicircular canals. So we've got one in each kind of cardinal plane there, so they're each at 90 degrees to each other. So three semicircular canals. And then we have a structure called the tensor tympani, which is a little muscle that's here attaching to the malleus and then to the temporal bone. So what we've got, the way they've represented it here on the model, is this little pink bit of coated wire here <coughs> is the, the where it attaches into the malleus, so that's part of it. But then the muscle belly is shown here uh, attaching to the, to the temporal bone there. So here we've got, I guess, the tendon, and here the muscle belly of tensor tympani.